How's it going YouTube? That's here. Bringing you guys another Pokemon Showdown replay. And this one is just... I thought I'd upload this because it's a pretty funny battle using my rain team and let's just get into it. I'll talk about it while we're going. Uh, his team really just destroys mine. First of all, I start getting unlucky not killing, hitting one on my ice beam. So I don't kill his bro -um. And that just sucks, but this game is really long so I have it put on fast and I probably just gonna like skip turns because there's so much thaw in this game I just really wanted to show the end of the game where ah uh, oh man this is just such a good game all right so yeah uh, I fought in my Lucario doing just damage to after revenge killing on Breloom and it's gonna be oh man I've never tried to like cast it while it's at the fast priority you guys can catch up you guys can keep up I believe in you there are five or six times in this game where I really wanted to just quit, and I didn't. And this guy gets so mad for it, and that's the best part. I make a few mistakes, like right there, I should have outraged, that was obvious. Was, yeah, I should have known he was switching to Landorus. Not like outrage would have done anything anyways, but whatever. So, I expect him to earthquake right there, and he does, so... Now he's going to switch back to his Jirachi. I was thinking about Focus Blasting here, but in case he had like HP Ice or whatever, I just didn't even want to risk it. I know that it's not common, but I just didn't want to risk it. So if I would have went for two Focus Blasts and hit with both of them, he would have died right there. And I wouldn't even be paralyzed right now. But it's okay. Because Jirachi is so low, he's in Revenge Kobo range anyways. Yeah, there wasn't anything he could do to Vaporeon anyways. So looking at his team, he has... Tentacruel and Celebi, Landorus, and I have like a paralyzed Garchomp and three things that are like bad. And my like, greatest Celebi has Giga Drain too. At least it's not one of those Calm Mind Celebis because all I have left that can only do anything are special attackers. So we're gonna have the Garchomp versus Landorus battle again. And of course I'm parried. Can't even get any damage off at all. So, right here, this was like the third time I tried to quit, and I was like, nah, whatever, I'm not doing anything today. I can just play it out. Yeah, I knew he was going to switch to Bolly Toad there. So, we're having the Skull Battle, no one's doing any Toxic or Paris songs or anything like that. And he's going to burn me like three times. Like, it doesn't burn me because I have hydration, but I think it's just kind of funny that I can't burn him at all. Now... There's my burn. Right here is where I think I start my comeback. I mean, he's pretty ahead. Like, looking at his team compared to mine, he's pretty ahead. He even gets a crit there. Right once I kill this Polyxide, everything changes. So he's going to send out his Celebi. And he's going to Perish Song. And I'm thinking, that's kind of weird. Why don't you just Giga Drain me? And luckily, I get the hacks. I get the freeze. You know, I totally needed that. So he's going to switch on a tentacle. I'm just going to ice beam again in case he wanted to stay in. Because I need to kill that Celebi. The Celebi's the one I need to kill. So I have Perish Song. I'm just going to switch up to Blissey. I was thinking about staying in and baiting out the Toxic there it was. Uh, but it's cool. So he's going to. I'm just going to Thunder. I'm going to get the Para on the Celebi. This is amazing. Now I could probably kill it with two ice beams. That's what I'm thinking. But I get a crit. And it only takes one. Isn't that amazing? All the hacks for me. And he's like, no, crits and hacks everywhere. And I'm like, it happens. And then I kill this guy with Ice Beam, and I'm like, oh, man, I'm coming back. And now all he has is his tentacle to fight my Vaporeon. So what happens here is he's going to pop sub, right? I'm going to Scald it. Scald isn't going to kill. He's going to get leftovers, or sorry, a Black Sludge and Rain Dish. Then he's going to attack me for whatever, you know, and I'm going to Ice Beam and break his sub. Now, we did this for all of the turns. Let's go. We're on turn 30 right now. Let's just go to turn 60. We're still playing. All right. Like, that's double the turns of me just trying to PP him out. And pretty much what it comes down to is I have to use two moves to kill his one. And then, hopefully, hopefully, after I've used all 16 of my Ice Beams on his sub, well, 
there's the burn. I finally got the burn right there. Is he just ran out of subs? I had two scalds left, two, and he just quit. And you should have seen him like up here. Where's he's like, uh oh, out of ice beams. And I'm like, yep. After it was like a bajillion turns later, he's like, out of ice beams, because I finally ran out because I used two earlier. So that means since since I had four scalds, I'd have to use two scalds to break a sub, and then I'd have two scalds to kill him with. I'd have to get the burn, and I did it. And that is just... I was thinking of quitting so many times. And this is one of the reasons you play Pokemon, because this type of feeling, after winning someone, after beating someone who's... I, I, I haxed him, not gonna lie, I haxed him, but it was all I could do. His team countered mine. So it's not like Philip's skill or anything. It's There's a lot of like hacks and stuff, but... Being able to play it out smartly all the way through to the end and winning, that's like the best feeling. So anyways, this is a really short battle. Uh, I guess I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.